body roll. If a car is flipping in corners or the body roll is backwards, this can be fixed by adjusting the F roll center height front and rear values. In this scenario, the body roll was in the opposite direction, specifically leaning towards the side the car was turning. To fix this, you would need to decrease the values. You can notice some improvement in the body roll, but it's not quite perfect yet. In certain car models, such as this one, the body roll value may need to be negative to achieve the desired visual effect. The current body roll looks good, but if you want to achieve a perfect look, you can always make further adjustments by changing the value in smaller increments. Alternatively, if the car is flipping in corners like you can see here, it would be necessary to increase the F roll center height values to address this issue. Speed and Handling Let's examine how to adjust the handling of a car that has unrealistic speed and handling. To address the unrealistic handling, the initial step is to check whether a downforce modifier is used. If such a modifier exists, it is recommended to remove it, as it essentially causes the car to stick to the ground. Having removed the downforce modifier, the car no longer sticks to the ground. The next step is to reduce the speed of the car to a more realistic level. The value for controlling the speed of the car is known as F Initial Drive Max Flat VEL. Adjusting this value allows for the modification of the vehicle's top speed. Here we will also need to decrease the acceleration speed. For a realistic handling, F Drive Inertia should always be 1.0 and F Initial Drive Force should be changed according to how fast you want the car to accelerate. For sport cars, the recommended value would be 0.35 and 0.4 to 0.5 for supercars. If increasing the max flat value does not increase your top speed, then that is because of the F initial drag cove value. To increase the top speed, you need to decrease the drag cove value. Usually, this value should be kept between 3.0 and 10.0, but adjust it accordingly to your handling to get the desired top speed. Now, the car's speed and acceleration have been appropriately adjusted, but the handling during cornering and braking is too unrealistic. The braking can be changed in the F brake force value. This value should be 1.0. The handling can be changed by adjusting the F traction curve min and max values. For a realistic feel, the min value should be kept at around 2.3 and the max value at 2.8. Furthermore, it is worth noting that the F low speed traction loss multi-parameter for this car was set to zero. This controls the amount of wheel spin that occurs during acceleration. By default, a value of 1.0 would result in the standard amount of wheel spin, but adjusting this value allows for increased or decreased wheel spin as desired. Next, we will also need to lower the body roll value on this car since it lacks dynamic movement. Almost done now! The car feels bouncy over bumps. This bouncy feeling can be fixed by changing the F suspension force value. If you are not sure if all handling values are correct, you can also compare the handling with another car. By comparing the values with a different car, we can notice that the F suspension force parameter was set significantly higher than necessary. This resulted in an overly bouncy feeling while driving. My car just became now it is done! The car feels as realistic as it should. Please also note that the model of the car also affects the handling. 